Are you a small business owner still wondering about whether or not and how you can use Twitter for your business? Maybe you're an accountant or a bookkeeper. A lot of people that I talk to are accountants and bookkeepers, and a lot of them still say to me, I don't know how I can use Twitter for my business. Doesn't make sense. What can I do with 140 characters? Let me show you something that's probably not that well known about Twitter amongst a lot of people anyway that I talk to. Uh, more often than I would, let's put it this way, I'm surprised at how often I show people this and they don't know that it existed. They didn't know that it existed. Of course, you can search Twitter right up here when you're on a Twitter page and any Twitter app that you might use will provide you with the ability to search for keywords, hashtags, you know, what have you while you're on Twitter. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is that there's actually a very specific site that Twitter has provided for since day one called Search dot twitter dot com and initially it looks like just a simple search screen just like you'd have up here but what I want to focus your attention on is right here where it says advanced search now let's say that you are an accountant or a bookkeeper and let's say you're looking to build client base you know find new clients you're looking for people who are struggling with QuickBooks who might be talking about it on Twitter well what I would suggest is coming into the advanced search in the any of these words box type QuickBooks and way down here at the bottom choose negative click search and let's see what we get look at this anyone have experience with QuickBooks I need help so let me reply to that and say we offer uh, we can help right I'm tweeting for the Sleater group here we can help what is your question? I'll click tweet. I hate entering purchase orders in QuickBooks. Well, what I might do, whether you know for the Sleater Group or just looking at the resources I have at Nerd Enterprises, is I might look to see if I have a tutorial or a blog post about entering purchase orders in QuickBooks that might help this person uh, spending the day learning QuickBooks instead of playing outside having a legitimate business sucks okay um, how about I mean there's a nut there's a ton of things I can think of to come back to these people with by way of a reply so having a business that makes money doesn't suck and knowing how to use QuickBooks to count it really helps. I can give a little smiley and let's tweet that out there. What else we got? I'm never a nice person when QuickBooks is on my to-do list. Reply. We can help you be a nice person when using QuickBooks. And where and when possible, it's always good to put the hashtag in there so that your reply, or your tweet for that matter, will come up when somebody's searching for the QuickBooks hashtag. Click tweet. What else we got? Hmm, if it's in the export file, I'd think that something QuickBooks themselves would need to look at. Well, on something like this, we would have to look at the whole conversation. So you hover your mouse over, and this is the QuickBooks uh, Twitter account actually responding to somebody. All right, jump down a step here. Here we can view the conversation and see what they're talking about. At ask PayPal, possible bug in QuickBooks export. Assumes everything is in US dollars. When it isn't, is there a place to report it other than here? PayPal responds, thank you for reporting this to us. Is the issue on the export file or when it is imported into QuickBooks in the exported file? So I guess PayPal, they're talking about the export file that uh, PayPal provides you for with QuickBooks, which I'm assuming is an IIF file, which as many of us know is not that useful. But uh, if you have some knowledge about something like this, you can jump in here. It's the same concept as when you're on, let's say, LinkedIn in a group and answering, offering valuable, useful information to help people out. That's what you want to do here. Using the advanced search, and especially since you have that option to choose negative, lets you find people who are sort of complaining about or, for that matter, struggling with QuickBooks. 
And this is just one example of many things that I'm sure you can think of that you can use. So do me a favor, post your comments below and let me know how you might use advanced Twitter search in order to identify p potential customers who are struggling with some problem that you can solve. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web.